Do you see this glowy little paladin boy right up over here? Now, he's actually rocking the full Griswold set. Now, that's what we're going to take a look at today. Is this set godly or is it garbage? So I know we're taking a look at whether the Griswold set is godly or garbage, but you know what isn't garbage? The sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform where it has thousands and thousands of videos, whether you're looking to up-level your skills to help out your business or your career, or learning something new just for fun. Now, of course, I love YouTube, but sometimes it's nice to do a complete course straight through without any interruptions. Skillshare is a completely ad-free service. Each week, it has thousands of new videos and courses, so there's always something new to learn. And now the entire catalog is available in subtitles in Spanish, Portuguese, and German, and even more. I had a great time watching and learning from Marquis Brownlee, YouTube success course. And another course I've looked into is Real Productivity by Michael Carnage Protcorn. Be more productive can help you with your career, help you get to the gym more often, help you have more time to spend with your kids and with your family. So this one's going to be mega helpful for my life. The first 1,000 people to use the link down in the description will get one month free trial to Skillshare. Now when we do these sets I generally always take a first look at the gear so of course that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right here. Now the pieces for this there's actually only four pieces they are very uh, uncommon to find with the exception of the armor the other stuff is incredibly rare so we'll take a look at the armor first and it's a three open socketed ornate plate couple offensive uh, defensive auras excuse me so a little bit of strength but it does have three open sockets on it and those open sockets are a theme for this particular set every single piece has a ton of open sockets on it this one is always three and we can go ahead and take a look at the full set bonuses here while we're looking at this three to paladin skills hit recovery attack rating 20 to strength 30 to dex 150 to life and 50 all res there's actually quite a bit of usefulness there on the full set to be perfectly honest so that's a pretty good full set bonus in my opinion but you notice there's no partial set bonus for this particular piece we'll go ahead and take a look at the griswold's honored vortex shield a very uh, rare base to find and a very very rare uh, set item to find also once again you'll notice there are no partial set bonuses on this one either kind of a common theme here for the griswold set it's either all or nothing you don't really get a ton of bonuses unless you're using the full set but block rate uh block chance uh more defense 45 to all res and three more open sockets on the shield up here at the helm Corona, another very rare base. You do get a partial set bonus here for the uh, two offensive auras. Not going to be a huge boost to your character. It's a little bit of something, though. Uh, but you do get uh, just a little baby 5 all res. You have Cold Absorb and Magic Find. Uh, it is nice to get the minus requirements on, you know, the helmet and on the armor as well, bringing their strength requirements down quite a bit. And then we'll look over at the Griswold's Redemption. Caduceus, Caduceus, it depends on who you're talking to, how they decide to pronounce it. This one can get three or four open sockets in it. Uh, so uh, the base damage, 135 to 174, not incredibly high. But you see this one does have four open sockets, 40% increased attack speed, so a very, very, very fast attacking weapon. You get a little bit of adds damage, adds damage there twice for partial set bonuses. And two to combat skills on the weapon so really the partial set bonuses aren't really that crazy on this it's, it is pretty reasonable though what you get for the full set bonuses but all of those open sockets are real interesting and i'm not going to put these in right at the beginning when i do test it but i actually went ahead and i you see these are all identical i found one of these recently and just for testing purposes i'm not going to keep this gear and stuff but just to test it out after we try it with nothing in the sockets we would gonna go ahead and throw these in there, simulating 4015s, throwing in there, so getting a ton of attack speed, a ton of enhanced damage, all over on all the gear, and just seeing if that having a crazy, crazy expensive full Griswold set with a bunch of 4015s in it boosts it up to be absolutely godly. So we're gonna test that out. Before we get into fully testing, I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the gear and the build that we're gonna go ahead and test it out with. Uh, I decided to go with a sealer, but we'll get into that in just a second. You might've noticed those gloves change. I accidentally had Trang's gloves on there for some reason, but laying of hands here is a good option for a sealer, the type of build we're going for, increase attack speed. You got a crazy high amount of damage to demons. Uh, over on the belt, we're deciding to just go with String of Ears. This isn't next necessarily like all of the best absolute in slot. String of Ears, though, is a go-to for melee builds, life leech, and damage reduction on there. Boots, Gore Riders, great choice over here. Goblin Toes, another good choice, or a lot of other things like that. We decided to go with Seraph's Hymn. It is a paladin amulet, two to all skills, two to defensive wars, a little bit of damage to demons and attack rating demons, damage to undead and attack rating to undead, and that mecha godly two to light radius. 
We'll jump down to the rings. We got a dual leech. This I'll get just a little bit of mana leech. You don't need a lot because Zeal only takes two mana all the time. So we got a little life, a little strength, stuff like that. We got Cannot Be Frozen over here. You got to have Cannot Be Frozen on a melee character. And we decided to throw a Torch and an Annie down in here as well. Uh, along with just a couple charms that were just sitting around really but i decided to throw torch and annie down here for the testing purposes all right now we'll go ahead and take a look at the act two mercenary and i didn't want it to be like a showcase of the act two mercenary so i didn't want him killing stuff and really helping out a ton so uh, over here i just have the might act two mercenary which will help out your damage but you generally would want to have one so i didn't put any great gear over here i just run a generic weapon uh, just a garbage insight just so he would just have a weapon on there or whatever it's no big deal the meditation from the insight really doesn't affect the build at all because zeal only costs two mana it's essentially nothing now when we take a look at the stat points here i decided to go and try to get as much damage as possible now so i do have enough dexterity to get max block after i use the holy shield up to 75 percent chance to block you see right there i did not put any extra points into vitality or energy i actually dumped everything into strength before i put them all into strength this was like 2200 top end damage now it's 35 so it did add quite a bit what is that like 60 percent extra damage by dumping all them strength points into there now generally i would not do this but i had a feeling that this build might be a little lackluster without a little extra damage so i decided to throw extra damage on there just to go ahead and help it out before we went into the testing Taking a look at the skill tree, pretty normal skill tree for a zealer. We got max zeal and the synergy of sacrifice, so we went ahead and did that. We got down a max block and we maxed that out. And then we went ahead and jumped over to the synergy for that. And that is defiance and maxed that out. And we also have down here fanaticism maxed out. And I will mention actually I was two points shy of maxing out defiance for holy shield. Just didn't quite have the levels yet to get to that. So that's pretty much the build we're going to test it out with. We've taken a look at the gear, and there's not really any, any reason to look at what partial pieces or whatever are good because you don't really get hardly any partial set bonus from any of that. So the next thing to do is to test this build out. Alrighty, so a good basic place to test this out first is going to be Frigid Highlands, pretty standard. So we have 1,000 life, not very high. We do have this movement skill right here, and we got some might guys out here. So let's go ahead and see, and this is just players one difficulty right off the bat. Now, Zeal is not particularly known for its AoE damage, so it does take a little bit to take out a full pack. It's never really been its forte. These Blunderborns have uh, quite a bit of life after all, but actually you do notice there really isn't any survivability issues with uh, this particular build, even with only a thousand life, because you're leeching so much back, your resistances are mega capped out. So pretty slow kill speed right on that particular thing uh maybe we'll go ahead and go after one individual like champion or something here and just kind of look at the kill speed on it all right so here's individual thresh shock and we'll go ahead and see how this goes it is not necessarily the fastest but i mean for a single target chop 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 down and this is just players one difficulty not too bad but uh not particularly the fastest either i think just with that on players one testing the set without any extra damage and stuff. I know there could be a little bit better High Lords here, maybe a couple of things here and there, but really this isn't, isn't terrible gear. It's a little bit on the slow side, I will be honest. So I think I should go ahead and plug in all these 4015s and then see what we get out of it. So there we filled it up with 33 15s anyways. And uh, the damage, 100% increased attack speed over here on the weapon. We got tons of increased attack speed. I, I'm not an expert on attack speed calculators, but we have a ton here. And the damage went from what was at, I believe, 2,200 over here to 3,500 now. So uh, it didn't quite double. It's up like 70%, I think. Math also not my forte, I suppose. Let's go ahead and test this out in kind of the same areas and see what's up. definitely way faster i will be honest now we can go ahead and say this is an incredibly expensive build essentially plugging in what is uh four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve forty fifteens uh so the kill speed did go up quite a bit but i don't know that that would ever be deemed as worth it all right now we're here at thresh shock we'll go ahead and test the kill speed here out see if it's any faster and yeah it's definitely consistently faster here but uh, I would say it's a little bit sus with uh, that many 4015s in it. So kind of funny to note if you're, uh, the, all the math is done, you can see it right up here next to me. I actually have 
240% increase the attack speed after plugging all of these jewels in. Now, it is not literally an absolutely perfect build. I didn't really go for that because we're testing out the set, not necessarily everything else that you put on it. So coming at you with my final verdict, is the Griswold set godly or garbage? Uh, if I had to pick a side, it would definitely be falling more on the garbage side. It's not absolutely worthless, but uh, af after having to plug in all of these 4015s in order to make it a little bit faster, and it still is probably a little bit slow just even compared to like a generic grief setup. So uh, it's definitely falling on kind of the garbage side just because it's def it's still useful. Like you can still use it. I can't give it like a zero, but I would probably give it about a 2 out of 10 as far as the full Grizz set goes towards the build like this. Now there are uses I know people will probably mention like the Bear Sorcerers quite often would use things like the Griswold Scepter with 4015s in it or Shale Runes depending on how you balance out the increased attack speed to get super increased attack speed breakpoints on that. I know they changed some things up here in the recent patch with the way increased attack speed is calculated as far as the Bear form but so there is the uses for the particular uh hammer scepter for that but generally we're talking about the set being used as it is kind of intended so i kind of got to give it a low score like that hey if you like that video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe up we're trying to get to 50,000 before the end of the year in subscribers i don't know that we're gonna make it so double check a lot of people don't realize that they're not subscribed peace out fellas don't forget keep slaying